to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify a GoPro Hero 3 Plus camera and turn it into an infrared spectrum camera by simply removing the GoPro Hero 3 lens and replacing it with a GoPro Hero 2 lens. Let's get started. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and remove this cap that's on the GoPro Hero. And there's three points where you can go and pry it open. So you have to go in a triangular form and pry it open. And there's a rubber sealant underneath that that keeps out moisture and dust going inside of the camera. So there you go, you remove it like that. And here's the lens cover. And here's the rubber sealant that I unfortunately broke. But it doesn't matter, as long as you keep it inside of a housing, it's perfectly fine. So now I have my pliers. I'm going to go ahead and remove the lens, which is glued in and tightened really well. So you have to turn with a little bit of force to break the seal and to be able to remove the lens. Once you've removed the lens, you'll be able to replace it with other types of lenses, like a macro lens, a telephoto lens, and other types of lenses to be able to do more interesting filming with the camera. And there you have it. The lens is removed. Now, by looking at this lens, you can see there is no infrared filter anywhere on it, except you can tell the infrared filter is infused into the lens. So there is no way to remove any kind of infrared lens at all. But right here on the right, I have this GoPro Hero 2 lens. As you can see on the front, there's no red tint because it's not infused into the glass like the Hero 3 Plus is. Instead, there's a red reflective glass, which is the infrared filter that's only covering the back of the lens. And that's how the infrared light is filtered on the GoPro Hero 2 lens. So what I've done before is I removed the GoPro Hero 3 lens and try to get that filter lens out. Well, I didn't realize that the lens is completely infused with the infrared filter, so don't do that. Because if you do, you'll end up destroying the lens, but you have to go and buy a new one. Here's the GoPro Hero 2 lens, and I'm going to go ahead and remove that glass. So that way this lens is no longer filtering infrared light. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and try to pry out the lens, but unfortunately the only way to do it is to break it up and shatter the lens. You could use a hair dryer to melt the adhesive, but doing what I'm doing works. But if I might add, I suggest you wear eye protection and gloves when doing this, otherwise shards of glass will go all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and cover my GoPro camera to prevent any shards of glass entering inside of the camera. So I'm just going to go and just pry it open and shatter this filter. It. I'm knocking out the shards of glass and there we go it's almost completely done Now I'm trying to get the broken glass and the adhesive out of the edges, scraping all that out, and avoid damaging the lens that is underneath it. And there we go, now I'm going to go and brush out the shards of glass that's all over the lens and inside. And get some shards of glass off of my hand. And 
and get the shards of glass off from the camera and everywhere else. And make sure everything is perfectly clean. And there you have it. The GoPro Hero 2 lens is now completely infrared filterless. Now I'll go ahead and place the GoPro Hero 2 lens into the camera, just like that. Make sure it's nice and tight so that way it can have proper focus. I have right here an infrared 950 filter that I can use to cover the lens. And by covering the lens, you can be able to see the infrared light even clearer and better. Now, let's go test it out. This is what it looks like with the original GoPro Hero 3 Plus lens on the camera. Everything looks all in color and normal looking. Now let's see what it looks like with the modified lens. This is what it looks like with the GoPro Hero 2 lens with that infrared filter removed. Everything all reddish and pink and violet color. Very beautiful, very interesting. Now let's see what it looks like when I put on the 950 infrared filter. Ah, everything looks more mysterious. All the trees look all white, sky looks almost black, and everything looks all spooky looking. Still a little violet and little reddish color, only because the lens, only because the filter is reflecting a little bit of light back onto the lens because it's not fully housed and sealed. I'm just holding the lens in front of the camera. And there you have it, your very own Infrared Spectrum GoPro Hero 3 Plus camera. Thank you for watching SciTite Tech. Hopefully you'll learn something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTite Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.